What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Will coming at y'all with another video. In today's video, man, we about to react to Dax Book of Revelations. All right, shout out to Antoine Herbert. He recommended this one. I believe GG Chillin also recommended this one as well. So we ain't gonna do too much talking, bro. We gonna hop into it. Hopefully y'all having a good Sunday, bro. It is 8:39 right now exactly. I do gotta be at church at 10 o'clock, bro. So let me hurry up react to this one real quick you know what i'm saying hopefully you're having a good sunday bro stay blessed you know what i'm saying stay up take care of yourself like the video comment down below and also if you're new bro subscribe man let's go ahead and hop into this one where will you spend eternity hopefully it's not hell real talk this goes What if it isn't a lie? What if we make it to heaven and don't get inside? What if? What if we get to the gates and see God on the other side and he looks us in our face and says our whole lives we've wasted time? What if we can't? Bro, imagine, imagine if you make it to heaven and the gates, the gates won't open for you, bro. And God's just looking at you like, bro, I gave you so many chances. And he tell you depart from me, bro. You know how much that would hurt your soul, bro. Like that's our father in heaven, bro. Imagine your father telling you depart from me. I don't I disown you. I don't know who you are, bro. You're not a son of God. You're not a part of me. Bro, I, that would hurt, bro. Like, you can't even you get you seeing everybody else going into heaven, the people that you know. But as soon as you try to walk in, they say, "Oh, you actually got to go down the street and go to the left. You be like, what's down the street? You be like, oh, yeah, you about to go to hell. I'm like, bro, you can't tell me that wouldn't hurt, bro. You can't tell me that wouldn't hurt. Hey, go back. What if we can't redo this life and get one second chance? What if our future happiness is memories of our past? While we burn forever haunted by the devil's laughs. Why? Why do we push them away? And why do the ones we work to keep never actually stay? Why do we you know what this reminds me of? Um, I forgot the name of the movie. I want to say it's called Mad Max. Mad Max came out, I want to say, like the 80s. Maybe the late 70s, 80s, 90s. But Mad Max was kind of on, like, like the clothes he got on, the way this car looked, the way, like, the environment looks. It looks just like Mad Max, bro, like the last days, basically. Um... I mean, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure he wasn't going for that concept. Maybe he was, but I get that type of vibe. You feel me? Like apocalypse vibes, you know? Cause it's the Book of Revelations, bro. If you ain't never read the Book of Revelations, bro, please read the book. Um, I suggest that everybody read the Bible from beginning to end. That way, you get the whole understanding of the Bible. Like it's an actual book. You got a beginning, a middle, a rising action, a falling action. You got, of course, you got a climax. And then you also got the fallen resolution, you know, all that good stuff. But if you read the Bible like an actual like book, like a real book, bro, you'll get a better understanding of everything, bro. You'll understand the do's, the don'ts, um, each story and, and what, what that person did to respect God. Because everybody God used in the Bible, bro, they were like murderers, they were killers, they were sinners, but they were still able to to get to God's heart. They were able to to be a true man of God and change their wicked ways, bro. So God can really use anybody. That's that's something that a lot of people don't really realize. They think, oh, I'm a sinner. God doesn't like me, bro. God was using Saul. Saul's name became Paul. But if you look up the story of Saul, Saul was a killer, bro. He killed everybody that believed in Christ. He killed them. God knocked him off a horse and blinded him and had him, like, you know what I'm saying? He blinded Saul. Had him go to Ananias' house to get his eyesight back. Once he got his eyesight back, that's when he became Paul. And he started actually worshiping God. You know what I'm saying? He became an apostle. Gotta look these stories up, bro. We focus on tomorrow and forget about today. And smile in everybody's face and try and act like we're okay. 
Why do we live this way? Why do we hate? Why do we fight? Why do we act like there's time and got more than one life? Why? Answer me. Why? Because we don't Wait what did he say Let me go back Why do we fight Why do we act like There's time And got more than one life Everybody's preaching this This uh, what's, what's what's it called Reincarnation bro Everybody keeps saying that Oh My next life I wanna be a dog Or my next life I wanna Bro you don't have a next life bro If you read from the bible You don't have a next life bro If you believe in God You don't have a next life bro You have one chance you were blessed to to come out of your mama's womb. You know what I'm saying? You were blessed to be created. Now you have an opportunity to to take advantage of this and really fulfill your purpose on this world. A lot of us don't know our purpose on this world. That's where you got to ask and pray and, and seek God's face. That way he can reveal to you what it is that you're here to do. You know what I'm saying? And some things should be common sense. Whatever you feel in your heart. That, you know what I'm saying? You feel it in your soul, your heart, and your mind. When all three align, bro, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't always follow your heart because your heart can be deceitful, bro. That's just like lust. Like, you might like somebody, but that don't mean that it's right. You feel me? Or you might like to do something in your heart, but that don't mean it's right. If everything is on one accord, bro, that's how you know it's God. You know what I'm saying? And also just pray about it. Ask God about it, all right? Why? Why? I'm older and looking for truth. I'm holding my faith in my hand, but the pain in this world has been shaking it loose. I used to have so much to gain. Now I have so much to lose. They say I'm crazy for looking for answers. I say they're crazy for knocking on proof. Vision is blurred. I'm over concerned. I'm looking to God to see if life with him is something I've earned. The devil's been watching. He's trying to recruit. He's been waiting at every turn. He's everywhere right now. The devil is everywhere, bro. The devil's at award shows. He at the Super Bowls. He at he everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got people talking about they on demon time. They on this. They on that, bro. Why? Why are we saying that, bro? The words are powerful. Why are we saying we're on demon time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying that, but, bro, he don't care, bro. All of these agendas they pushing, bro. They got. Come on, bro. I was watching the video. I forgot who said it, but they were saying that. Have you seen the propaganda? Like how they how they got women. They got women right now, like calling themselves bitches. I'm not calling you a bitch. All right. I don't I don't like calling women bitches, but they got women calling themselves bitches. Oh, I'm a pretty bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a boss bitch. I'm this bitch. Why we why they gotta use bitch and everything, bro? We could you can say something else. You ain't gotta say all of that. You feel me? Like is they trying to change the lingo and words are important. Words are like spells. Like spelling. Your words are powerful, bro. You gotta be careful what you say. Like if you wake up and you constantly speak in doubt or you're you're constantly negative, bro, guess what? That negative energy is gonna return right back to you because you're speaking it out. You get what I'm saying? That's why even through even through any situation, bro, always try to stay positive, bro. Always look on the good side. Even if something bad happens, always look on the positive side of things, bro. It could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful because you could have been like this person. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. The devil busy right now because, you know, his time is coming. That's why the, the song is called Book of Revelations. <laughs> when God come back, bro, it's OV for the devil. Like, you're done. You get what I'm saying? God has power, the devil has power too, but of course God has the most power, but the devil can bless you too. He can bless you in the in, in wrong ways. You know what I'm saying? You might think you're doing God's work, but behind closed doors, bro, you're doing some evil. You get what I'm saying? And the devil blessing you for that. That ain't God. I'm driving this life on the highway to hell, but I won't burn! Fuck! We know the difference. We know what is wrong and we know what is right. But Satan is strong, God, and most of your people are losing the fight. So what if we fail? What if we can't escape his lies? What if we can't change? What if he still controls our minds? Where do we run? Where do we go? Who do we talk to? We look around and everyone we see is lost to. What if life is just some test that we all do? What if you were busy when we called you? Reappearance. Right bro. Yeah, that's the right body. I'm, I'm tired. Come on, let's go. I got you. 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 Man, they got the bone. Hello. What if hell's on there? They got the bone sticking out, bro. Whoever, like I said in 
all of his videos, bro. I know I didn't react to a lot of his videos. Shout out to everybody that recommended, bro. Um, all of his videos are fire, bro. Like him specifically, his music is fire. But then his videos, like they both go hand in hand, bro. And that's that's how you know you're a dope artist if you're able to create a song and then the vision comes to life with the song. That's how you. It's like a two in one combo pack, like. Like damn, the lyrics is hard, but then on top of that, the video hard too. So it's like you can't go wrong. Earth, what if being born is dying and dying's birth? Would well, that mean life's not God's gift, but the devil's curse? And to live was to be evil, cause it's words reversed. What if the devil entered a pastor and he led a church? What if we looked wait, for wait, the wait, truth, wait, but wait, didn't know wait, where wait, the wait, truth, wait, but didn't know where led a church? Entered a pastor and he led. He said, "What if the devil entered a pastor and he led a church?" Bro, come on. We said this. I just said this in like a couple of his videos, bro. With false prophets, bro. Come on. Look, this is this is how I look at everything, bro. I'm a very conscious person. Like, I pay attention to like the smallest detail, bro. Even when I could be talking to anybody, I'm paying attention to the smallest detail, bro, because words only means so much you have to pay attention to a person's actions like i be using small context clues bro like if somebody say something to me and they start scratching the back of their head in my mind i'm thinking like why did they do that was their head really itching or was they nervous you get what i'm saying like i pay attention to everything bro and a lot of people don't pay attention like, and especially when it come to church or when it come to a pastor bro they just think like oh i'm 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 safe i'm in a i'm in a church house huh you know, he's, he's going to lead me the right way. That's not true, bro. You yourself can lead you the right way or you can lead yourself the wrong way. But you got to be willing to read the Bible, bro. Read the Bible. Understand everything in the book. You get what I'm saying? Like the commandments, all of that, bro. Once you understand everything, once you start living right for God, bro, you're going to see a big difference, bro. You can't follow these pastors just because they got a million church members, bro. Or they raising a million dollars every Sunday. You can't follow these people, bro, because you don't know what they really doing behind closed doors, dog. They are part of these agendas. They are they're a part of these these cults. They're a part of the elites, my guy. Pay attention. All right. Like really, really look between the blurry lines. All right. It's the same thing with the government. How we, we was reacting to the government videos. It's the same thing in the church, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed the government low key owns the church. You know that, right? You can't talk about certain things, bro. Like, if you were in church right now, and let's say you wanted to create a big-ass church, right? In order for you to get funding from the government, you have, they tell you what to say and what you can't say, bro. And some of the things you can't speak on, you know what I'm saying, is the LGBTQ. You feel me? Like, you, you can't talk about it. And in the Bible, we all know what it's saying in the Bible. But if you speak on that topic, bro, they on your ass. They gonna take, they gonna take all their money away. They gonna take your building away, and they gonna suspend your license. You can never be a pastor again, bro. So, like my pops, he ain't never took that. He ain't never took that because he ain't wanna. Like, why are you gonna limit me on what I can talk about in the Bible? You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on. At a church. What if we looked for the truth but didn't know where to search? Where? What if the books they said to read have never been your words? What? what if we chose to follow you but we still had that urge? Will you forgive us for our sins and let us in your world? God, we at the gates. We couldn't see, hear, and touch you, but we had faith. We know we messed up, we human, and we make mistakes. So we just beg and we get in and that you'll have grace. God, what if we didn't mean it? What if the place we grew up forgot to teach us? What if we never even got the chance to go and seek it? Then what? Then what? Dear family, we're in scary times. Nobody has the answers. Just make sure you spread love. He got a part two. Bro got a part two. Am I tripping? No, nah, I don't think he do. Well, that was a good video, man. Good song. You know what I'm saying? Three years ago, bro. I'm I'm completely late, man. But it's cool. It's it's better late than never. All right.
but dope song dope music video as always bro shout out to dax you feel me shout out to everybody that recommended dax as well um book of revelations bro make sure you go look that book up but like i said if you really want to get in tune with the bible bro don't don't just skim around books bro and, and you know what i'm saying and oh my favorite scripture is no bro read the full bible you know what i'm saying understand the book once you understand the book bro everything about you will change i'm trying to tell you like me myself i'm not gonna sit here and say i read the whole bible i'm still reading it i think i'm in uh i'm either in numbers or deuteronomy bro somewhere around there bro but you know what i'm saying each day i try to at least read a couple pages bro or like read read some chapters i try to you know what i'm saying put my head in the book bro i'm not gonna sit here and say i do it every single day i'm not gonna lie to you but i try to read the bible almost every day you feel me but i ain't gonna do too much talking bro like i said good song good music video like the video <laughs> i can't talk bro <laughs> i need some water like the video comment down below what else you want to see next um and also if you're new to the channel bro hit that subscribe button all right we go go ahead and hop into the next one soon i gotta get ready for church y'all but i'll see y'all in the next one man peace